completion of an incentive application for a custom energy savings project can be time consuming. The final requirement, the measurement and verification plan or MMV plan, often leaves applicants at a loss. But relax, the MMV plan is not that complicated and should be an energy project manager's best friend. Hi, my name is Brad Glenn, the principal at Beyond Green Consulting. Welcome to the Going Green to Save Green video series. Today I'll go over why measurement and verification of energy projects is necessary. The standards used for measuring the success of energy projects, how to develop your M&V plan, and how you can use it to your benefit. Most incentive granting authorities evaluate energy savings projects using the International Performance Measurement and Verification Protocol. The IPMVP was developed by a coalition of international organizations to quantify the result of energy projects, to increase investment in energy efficiency, and to ensure that energy savings projects are saving money. IPMVP provides four options for determining savings. Options A and B focus on energy retrofits that are isolated from the rest of the building. Option A is for a single measure where the performance can be measured, but it may be best to work out the specs. Simple technologies like a lighting retrofit or the installation of a single speed pump are best. The installation of a chiller can also use option A. Option B is used for a single measure where the performance and operation should be measured. A good example would be the installation of a variable speed drive whose performance would be driven by the installed variable speed drive and the associated motor. Or a lighting upgrade where the hours of operation are not constant. Options C and D are used when the nature of the energy conservation measure is not easily measured in isolation. This could be typical of operational and control changes that affect many areas of the building. Generally, options C and D involve much more time and skill to conduct and therefore are going to be more costly to measure. Option C assesses at the whole facility level by analyzing utility bills before and after implementation of the project. Energy use is measured by utility meters for at least 12 months pre-retrofit and continuously throughout the post-retrofit period. A whole building retrofit, a facility with multiple buildings and or multiple energy conservation measures are typical of option C. Option D uses computer simulations and modeling of the whole facility, usually when base shared energy data is not available or reliable. A whole building retrofit, a facility with multiple buildings and or multiple energy conservation measures for which there are no historical usage data are typical of option D, like an energy analysis of a new lead building. The MMV plan fundamentally defines the meaning of the word savings for each project and should include the following elements. A description of the energy conservation measure and its intended result. An overview of the intended IPMVP option to be used. Measurement methods and equipment to be used. Commissioning of the newly installed energy conservation measures. Documentation of post-retrofit energy and operating data. A savings report and costs of M&V operations and equipment. If a customer does not feel comfortable performing the energy savings determination, a third party may be utilized to assist the owner to prepare the analysis. MMV plans are required typically by large custom projects that require extensive design and project management. The MMV plan seemingly adds a layer of work. Thus, there is also the incorrect perception that MMV protocols introduce the possibility of having incentives clawed back if the project fails. So let's handle standard objections to MMV. While there does exist a theoretical risk that a customer could have to pay back the incentive if the project fails, failing fraud is very unlikely to occur. A good MMV plan estimates savings within a 95% confidence level and provides avenues to handle deviations resulting from variations in weather and usage. Further, the MMV plan must be treated as essential to energy management as engineering design is to project execution. The MMV plan is a best practice of energy project evaluation that closes the feedback loop on what was promised by the engineering staff who pitched the project and what received funding to be done. From a client's perspective, the MMV plan will allow you to complete the math of conservation, measure the current performance, analyze the results checking for major discrepancies, target areas for improvement and best practices transference, and hone in on future opportunities to reduce demand. The MMV plan is first an internal tool to be used to protect and promote successful projects and to procure approvals for future projects. Plus, getting the MMV plan approved by your boss allows a project manager to define the criteria against which they are judged. It defines a framework to say yes 
The cost did go up, but they could have been much higher. The MMV plan, once reviewed by the incentive granted body like your local electrical utility, should have already done its job in ensuring the success of the project. Then when the project is reviewed by the utility or other organizations, it should be used as a tool that will ultimately benefit the end consumer. It will serve as a check to ensure that the energy project was successful. It will allow the incentive organization a means to prove the success and continuation of the incentive programs for the benefit of the customers. And it will point the incentive organization to ways to better serve the customer with incentive programs that should make future energy projects more likely to be funded. MMV plans should not be viewed as a barrier in an energy retrofit program. An MMV plan is actually quite the opposite. A good MMV plan identifies a strategy to keep track of energy usage, renews the commitment to energy conservation, and increases the chances of an energy conservation measure success. Most importantly, an MMV plan is at the heart of the math of conservation by reinforcing the feedback loop required to continuously improve your energy conservation efforts. Now. Let's go beyond green.